Hey, it's Tigman. Time for this week's edition of The Metal Box, our weekly discussion on all things hard rock and heavy metal. This week, we've got a Metal Box exclusive interview with lead singer of 80s all-female metal band Vixen, Janet Gardner. She's got a brand new self-titled solo album out. Just came out on August 18th, getting ready for a tour. She's got her band coming to Poughkeepsie, going to be playing The Chance up in the loft on Friday night, September 8th. Uh, talked about the new solo album, the tour. Talked about Vixen. She's still doing stuff with Vixen. Talked about some of the big bands that she toured with back in the 80s and what it was like touring back then. Check out the interview right now. We have with us on the phone lead singer of Vixen, Janet Gardner, who has a brand new solo album out, and uh, she's still doing stuff with Vixen, too. How are you, Janet? I'm great, Tigman. How are you doing? Doing well. G great to have you here. I got to ask you, uh, what was it like being hailed as the female Bon Jovi by many for Vixen? What did you think of that term? <laughs> <laughs> that title, I should say. Well, you know, uh, well, it was very flattering. Obviously, Bon Jovi was a pretty big deal. So <laughs> yeah. if you're going to be compared to someone, I suppose at the time, that was as good as any. Right. What was it like touring those days back in the 80s? Like touring with bands like Kiss. Was that a big tour for you? Oh, gosh, yes. That was a blast. It just... It, no one should be able to have that much fun. Right. Really. It was great. And, and you've, you've kept in touch with the ladies over the years. I know you, you had your uh, split with the band, and then you regrouped, in the I think, in the early 2000s, and you've been still going. You're doing shows, and now you've decided to do uh, a solo album, which is out now, right? The new solo album? Yeah, it was released on Friday, and we're really excited about it. Can't wait to get out and play these songs. It's fun stuff. We're The first date, I think, is September 1st or Second. You'll be in uh, Poughkeepsie, uh, one of my uh, old stomping grounds. I always love going to the Chance. You'll be in playing the Loft in the Chance in Poughkeepsie on September 8th. Looking forward to that show. Now, will you have a full band with you at the show? Yeah, we'll have a four-piece band. Okay. Um, bass, drums, guitar, and then me, of course, on guitar and vocals. Now, you got married last year, correct? I did, uh, yeah. Congratulations on that. Thank you. Is your husband your bandmate, too? He is. He is my partner in crime on this. Uh, he's my co-writer, co-producer, co-everything. Oh, that's awesome. You're yeah. like the next Pat Benatar, Neil Giraldo, I see. You know? <laughs> A few people have said that. And if we could, you know, do what they've done in the last, you know, 30 years or so, man, I'm, I'm down for that ride. Right, exactly. <laughs> so you're doing the solo thing for a while. Is there plans for a new Vixen record in the future? Yeah, we we just did a um, live capture in Chicago at the Arcata Theater. It was a great night, wonderful show. So that'll be available. It's, and it's the first time that we've done a live release with Roxy and Cher and myself. So that's exciting. And there's a couple bonus tracks on that. Okay. And then, yeah, we're going to start working on some new stuff. All right, excellent. Well, back in the day, of course, 30 years ago, the uh, documentary everybody loved, All Us Metalheads Loved the Decline of Western Civilization, the Metal Years. Of course, you and Vixen, a part of that documentary, and it's, it's been 30 years. What was it like being a part of that, which it's become a cult classic, of course? 30 years. Wow. <laughs> crazy, right? <laughs> we were only 10 years old. I know. Before. That's crazy. Um, babies. Oh, yes. Maybe. That was before we our record came out. We were signed. We were working on our first album, and it was a crazy fun time in, you know, the Sunset Strip and all that good stuff. So it was fun to be a part of it. It was even more fun to see it come out because we didn't see any of the interviews. We didn't know the crazy stuff that was going on. So when we saw it, we got a good laugh out of it, too. <laughs> nice. I got some fan questions here, Janet. Uh, some fans wanted to ask okay. some stuff. Uh, Kevin uh, hit us up on the Facebook. He wants to know if you felt there were barriers in the all male dominated field back all in the right, day. All right, Kevin. Um, yeah, there were, of course. Mm -hmm. There were some, you know, different when we would do demos and we'd send them to labels, they would say, well, we already have a female band or we already have a female rock singer or. You know, it's like, well, how many male bands do you have? Why would that be a reason to not sign us? Right. We would get things like that. And, of course, people that were skeptical thought it was kind of a novelty, whereas, you know, it really wasn't. It was just a bunch of us getting together like any other band. We felt comfortable with each other. We were inspired by each other's playing. So we were in a band together. It really wasn't that kind of thing that that it was a novelty. So we had that going against us, too. And 
I think people were really kind of looking at us a little differently and looking for flaws. Like, oh, there's got to be something wrong with them. Somebody's got to be able to, you know, somebody's not really playing or <laughs> something. Yeah, you know, right. There was always something. But we just were undeterred. We just stayed with it. We rehearsed our butts off and went out there and just kicked butt. We're speaking with Janet Gardner, lead singer of Vixen. She's got a brand new solo album out. Your first solo effort, right? Yeah. Self-titled debut. What's the single you're pushing? The single is called Rat Hole. Mm, that's right. It's pretty heavy, pretty in your face. A video to go along with it? There is. Vivo, YouTube. You can go to our YouTube channel, Janet Gardner. Okay. And check it out. All right. Another fan question. Dan McRitchie wants to know. <laughs> I like this one. Who had the better hair, you or David Coverdale? <laughs> oh, I had him totally be. I agree. I absolutely his, agree. His was not nearly as tall or high right. and not nearly as long. So I had him beat on the two important elements, the height and the length. Exactly. And the color, too. I mean, come on. It was so blonde. And it still looks great. <laughs> Thank uh, you. It's just not as tall. I've it's seen current long. promo shots. Not yeah, tall. not as tall, but still looks great. Um my friend Lynn chimed in here. This is pretty funny. I'm sure you remember this. Lynn wants to know if you remember EMI Records making a tissue box for the song Crying. Like a- <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Do you remember yes, this? Yes, I do. <laughs> it was black with red writing. She says she actually purchased it at an auction about 20 years ago, and she's going to bring it to the show at the chance and have you sign it, if you'll sign it for oh, her. Oh, I love it. <laughs> Looking forward to it. Yeah, I love those little things because – not very many people have some of those goofy little promo items. That right. I don't have one of those. I want my own right? crying tissue box. Uh, maybe, yeah. maybe Lynn will give it to you. I mean, that would be the right thing to do. Come on. You should have no, that. No, she, she should have it. But, you know, I, I should definitely, you know, go purchase one myself somewhere right. online. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you can find it. Check out eBay. You might be able to locate one. Exactly. Um, what was the, I want to know, the, the best tour Vixen ever did back in the heyday? What was your favorite band to tour with, probably the biggest tour for you? Oh, man, there were so many of them, but I have got to go with the Scorpions in Europe. That was our first arena tour, right? and it was definitely just goosebumps every night, hearing the crowd roar, and just, wow. I will never forget some of those nights, just standing... <clears throat> waiting to go on stage, the lights go down and hear the crowd roar. Right. I was like, oh. Yeah. You can feel it through every single cell in your body. It's an, an amazing tour. I've always said one of my favorite bands is Scorpions, and one of the best live shows you'll ever see. They're still doing it. 50 years, I think they were celebrating recently. But just one of the best live concerts you'll ever go to is a Scorpions concert. I mean, just incredible musicians and just a great time. Yeah, they're ridiculous. Yeah. I mean, we would stay every night and just watch them. And just go to school. Exactly. <laughs> this is how it's done. <laughs> right. The new album is out. The uh, new solo effort from Janet Gardner of Vixen. And where can we get this album? Can we uh, purchase it online and in yeah, stores and it's wherever? it's available everywhere. If you want a CD, a hard copy, you can get it on Amazon. You can get it at Pavement. Of course, okay. you can download it at iTunes. You can get it in stores. Target, Walmart. You have an official website. We can uh, connect with you and get through to social media and all that fun stuff. Just go to the Janet Gardner Facebook page. Okay. We post everything on there so you'll you'll know what's happening. All right. Well, Janet, we're looking forward to the show. We're going to be there. It's the Chance in Poughkeepsie up in the loft. That is going to be you and your band on, that's a Friday night, right? September 8th, Friday night, I believe. Oh. Yeah, it is. I, I'm looking at my calendar. <laughs> I think so. I'm looking at my calendar. It is Friday, September 8th, The Loft at the Chance. Janet Gardner of Vixen. I'm sure we'll hear some Vixen classics and uh, some of the solo stuff from the great new solo album. Great. Thanks. I'm looking forward to it. Looking forward to seeing you there. Awesome. Janet, thanks for the time. Thank you, Tiggerman. Take care. That'll do it for this week's edition of The Metal Box. Thanks for tuning in. The Rock and Roll Limo has arrived. We'll see you next week.